What's cracking, people? Angelic Mayhem here. Today, I saw something truly incredible. I saw the Bud Light Lima Rita, which appears to be a beer-flavored margarita. And I have had enough. I have had enough of the lime-flavored beer thing. I It's too much, okay? People have gone insane. And this is a, a mass hysteria, the likes of which haven't been seen since the Salem Witch Trials. This has gone way, way too far, and it's completely out of control. I need to explain to you that you do not put a lime in your beer. And I need you to go forth as my disciples and tell people if you see them putting limes in their beer that they're idiots okay and I need you to use those words I need you to say you are an idiot for putting a lime in your beer now let me preface that by saying that if the person who you're talking to is on a motorcycle or is bigger than you you probably shouldn't be telling them this however they won't be and the reason for that is that dudes on motorcycles and dudes who are buff do not drink beer with limes in them why is this happening? Years ago, when people first began to go to the islands, the Caribbean, okay, to party, they would swim up to the bar in the pool and they would say, hey, can I get a beer? And the bartender would pull out a beer and he would put a little lime wedge in the top of the beer and he would hand it to them, okay? And so going to the islands and drinking beer was associated with having a lime in the top. It was just a thing that they did. And nobody ever questioned why they did it. They just assumed that that was, you know, how it was done in the Caribbean. Then along comes Corona. In order to sell their Mexican piss water, they decide that they want to brand it by putting limes in the tops of their bottles. All right. And they want to call it the Caribbean drink. It's not Caribbean drink, it's made in Mexico, and it's made from the same stuff that all other beer is made, barley and hops, and, you know, that's just how it is. But it's, it's marketing. So people in America began putting limes in the tops of Corona, at which point drunken morons who had had one too many began smashing the limes into the drink and shaking it up to, quote, make it taste better. Now, that ought to tell you something, that these are people who are ordering a beer that tastes awful and then smashing a lime into it to try to choke it down. All right. None of this makes any sense. But let's move on. Along comes Bud Light and they say, look at this. Corona has this great little niche market where the people are smashing limes into their bottle and they think that that's awesome. Let's make a beer that has lime in it. They're trying to weasel in on Corona's ridiculous, insane market by creating a Bud Light that has lime in it. That's disgusting. And now they've taken the Bud Light lime and turned it into a margarita. This has to stop. It's too much. I can't take it anymore. Somebody has to do something, and it's going to start with me. All right. I am openly condemning the Bud Light lime margarita, Bud Light lime putting limes in beer in general, Coronas in any form. And I, this is based, mind you, on biochemistry. I know a significant amount about chemistry. And the reason why, all right, you put a lime on the top of the beer in the Caribbean in the first place is because of the flies. Flies are attracted to beer. When you get a beer and you pop the top on the bottle, inside of beer, there's a compound called uh, glycerol. And glycerol is one of the things that the yeast makes in addition to the alcohol. And glycerol is very sweet. All right. And what happens is you take the bottle and you drink a little bit of it. And then when you put it down, the little bit of beer that's on the rim, that alcohol that's in that dissipates. It evaporates almost immediately. And it leaves behind the glycerol. So the flies aren't trying to get into the bottle. I mean, they are because they're stupid. But, you know, for the most part, they're trying to get to the rim to get the little bit of glycerol that was left behind. That's what this is all about. A lime in the top of the bottle repels flies because flies can't stand the acid that's inside of the lime. That's why it's there. 
it's serving a purpose. You do not smash the lime and push it into the beer. You don't shake the beer up to turn it into a lime flavored anything. You don't order beers that taste like crap. You don't order a Bud Light Lime ever. And you most certainly don't turn it into a margarita. This is going too far and it needs to stop. Thank you for listening to this rant. I'm Angelic Mayhem and I will see you next time.